Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mushroom Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you how you can up publish anything you want from a text field to your database live and how you can also retrieve it as you're seeing on the left side and even add it to your list. As an example, I'm going to add anything like a number one, as you can see, it does get published over here and also gets delivered. We can retrieve it, download it and also display it and use it. Let's give it another example. I will just say one example. And if I click on upload on the right side here, you can see it got added and we also managed to retrieve it. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to upload and retrieve data from Firebase using Swift UI. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button. Let's get started. Welcome back guys. Now, as you can see, I have already created a Firebase project over here, not the database, but just a project. Over here, I also have a Swift UI project. And as you can see, I've already kind of integrated Firebase into it. And the only thing left for us to do is A, create a database and B, create the two functions, which will allow us to upload data to the database and also retrieve or download data from the database. Two very important things that I think people explain very in such a complicated way in on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get started. And we are going to start by creating a database. We're going to click create database and we're going to start in test mode and I'm going to click on next. After that, we are going to select a place. Make sure you, this is the closest place to you because you actually can't change it. I'm just going to pick the first one. This is just a tutorial and I'm going to click in able. Okay. So now that our project is actually ready, we have created the database. Everything is loaded up. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be jumping back on Xcode and we're going to be creating two different functions, a function that uploads data to the database and another one that just downloads it in a very easy way. Let's start by first importing Firebase to our project. So I'm going to type import and I'll type in Firebase and I'll click on enter. After that, I'm going to create two functions. The first one is going to be called func upload. And the second one, you probably guessed it, we're just going to be calling it func download, just like this. And in the first one, that's where we're actually going to be uploading the data to the database. So we're going to say let db, and we need to reference the database. So we're going to say let db for database equal to fire store dot fire store. After that, we're simply going to type in db dot collection. And over here, we actually want to give a name to the highest hierarchy, the highest level of our database. So for example, let's say it's users um, and you have, you're going to have a whole bunch of different user names. This will be called users. After that, we are going to be saying document. And here you have the option to actually give the document a specific name. So it can be something specific, or if you leave it empty as I am doing right now with the bracket, it's just going to give it a random ID. And then what we're going to be saying is dot set data. And here we can open and close these two boxy brackets. And inside of here, we're going to be putting the data that we actually want to update. So for example, here, I want to have user name. And then what we're going to be creating, we're going to go over here and we're going to say at state var username. And pretty much the, when we have a text field, it's going to be saving the value of the text field inside username. And we want to pretty much just post it on the database. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pass in username. And for this example, we're only going to have one data in uh, our database, which is just going to be the username, which the user is going to enter in the text field. There you go. You've actually just uploaded something to the database as soon as this button is clicked. What's after? Well, now let's actually retrieve the data. So I'm going to go to the func download. And again, I'm going to reference the database. So I'll say let db is equal to firestore dot firestore. After that, we are going to be saying db dot collection. And remember, we need to reference the exact same name of our collection, which is users. So I'm going to copy that and paste it here. And I'm going to say dot add snap shop listener just like this over here we're going to close that we're going to open and close the bracket we're going, we're going to have a snap and then error for error and we're going to say in and there we go now basically what an add snapshot listener does is it's going to be downloading all the documents inside 
of your database and I'll show you in a second how you can filter it and put some specific queries but for now that's all we really need first let's check if we have any errors retrieving the data so I'll say if error is not equal to nil so this means if the error is not equal to nil basically if we do have an error well what we want to do is basically we just want to print the error for now so I'm just going to say there is an error and then let's pass the actual error given to us just like that and i'm going to say dot localized actually let's just leave as it is we don't need to show it for now just that there we go and we have to return now well what if we don't actually have an error and everything is good well let's start retrieving the data so i'm going to say for i in snap dot document changes and the good thing is Automatically when the document changes, let's say someone publishes something your list is going to update automatically What we want to do is we want to have let First of all, let's get the document ID. It's very important to always get the document ID. So I'm going to say document ID is equal to I dot document dot document oops, sorry, dot document ID and that means that we're going to be retrieving the document ID right now and then we want to obviously get the username so what I'm going to be doing is I'll create another object over here and I'll say let user name is equal to I dot document dot get field and this is very important you need to type the name of the field so for example right now we have it called username you're not going to be requesting the name itself you're going to be requesting the name of the field so we're going to pass it exactly as it is here if it's anything else that you're passing, unfortunately it's not going to work and you might get some crashes. There we go. So now when we run this, we're actually going to get the username saved. Wonderful. So after that, let's create a dispatch queue. So I'll say dispatch queue dot main dot async. And over here, basically all I'm going to be doing is I'll be creating a list. So I'll say at state var usernames and for now we can actually have it just as an array of strings so I'll say string just like that oh, sorry just like this for now and all we want to do is that we want to append that name to our list here so I'm going to say username usernames sorry dot append dot username so basically all I'm going to be doing is that every single time we actually download a name from from our document we want to append it to our list over here and what I can do is I can actually just wrap this inside of string just to avoid having any errors or anything like this there we go and now I believe we will not have any more errors now that we have this ready, all we need to do is actually create the UI to actually work with it. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I will be removing this. I'll add a VStack, just like that. In the VStack, I will have a text field. So I can have, a, let's use Canvas to do it just in case someone doesn't know how to do it because I forgot how to do it. Plus, let's go over here and we're going to type in text field. There we go. What else do we need? We need a list to show the names that we have so I'm going to click on the plus button and I'll get me a list there we go and let's show editor only now for the placeholder what we're going to be doing is we're just going to say enter your name for this text we're going to be passing username and remember everything that gets entered here that's exactly what's going to be saved for our list, let's just leave this as empty for now. But we're going to create a hstack. We're going to place the text field inside of the hstack, just over here. And then we're going to be creating a button. And whenever that button gets pressed, that's when we're actually going to be publishing the information. Like this. And we're going to have action. For our action, what we want to do is we want to call the upload function so that we can actually upload the information and for the text let's just have something as 
upload wonderful now what we need is what we actually want to display the information as it gets added so all i'm going to be doing is first we need to call this function so i'm going to say on appear perform well what do we want to perform basically we just want to call the download button and that means that as soon as the view loads up we're going to start downloading the information if there is any if there isn't nothing's going to happen the app will just adjust itself okay so now we finally have the function that uploads the information ready and also the function that gets us the information ready and we're even populating our array the only thing left is now to actually populate our list so we can see the not usernames being added to do this all we're going to do is we're going to come to our list over here and basically what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to say zero dot 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 to user names dot count so for each row inside of our username dot count and i believe it's just two dots what we're going to be doing is we are going to create an id and it's basically just going to be dot self and we're going to say i in and all i'm going to be doing is i'll just be having some text and it will be i sorry it will be username i so we're basically just going to be presenting that i or that name that we are populating inside over usernames if you just want to print it out you can also do that you can simply come over here and type in print and we're just going to print username and that means we that we are going to be printing username again it's going to give us an error it didn't okay now we're actually ready to run this application and see how it will look like so i'm going to go ahead and do that and i'll get back to you as soon as it gets on my phone Alrighty, so as you can see we have the database at the background over here and we also have the app airplane from my phone uh, on the left side over here and basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to click on the text field and I'm going to type in something like David and I'll click on upload give it a second and as you can see we've got upload here on the list let's refresh the database and see if anything was added and as you can see we have users over here we have a random ID and we also have the name David as you can see here and how do you know we're retrieving it well it's appearing as david let's type in something else let's say bullis and i am going to click upload and as you can see again gets updated live and again we're also retrieving the data straight away and we're adding it onto a list so these functions let's go these functions were more than enough to upload and download now the only thing we need to do is we just need to put an exclamation mark over here so force unwrap it just so that we can get rid of the optional and let me just run this one more time and we're gonna go and see if it works exactly how we want it or not all right so as you can see i don't need to uh, publish anything in order to get the information straight away as soon as the app runs we get david bolus we get all the names that we've entered and i can do this as many times as i want so i can put harley upload i can put money i can put something like monica and as you can see we're uploading and retrieving the information straight away thanks so much for watching please make sure you hit the like button you hit the subscribe button and make sure you go and check my other videos so you can learn more about swift and firebase thanks so much for watching and have a good day